yoga is a very powerful science and yoga is a science of self discovery and if you look back when we are young there is a very clear purpose goal direction in our life when we are young adults or in what we call as grihastha ashrama then we have lots of commitments and we are very focused day in and day out i need to do a b c d e so that i can have 1 2 3 4 5 those are my commitments but when we start fulfilling those commitments children start growing up they go into their career and everything my my career is over government possibly kicks me out retires me then what do i do there is no goal in my life now i am just vacant nothing to do no importance nobody cares for me i am you know like a stuff which is just lying around okay so therefore i develop some hobbies i do this that that and occupy my time which is good actually rather than sitting and be brooding it is good to occupy yourself but is that what is intended for us when we look at the system which the vedic civilization followed it is not so every step is a progression you have brahmacharya ashram where you are learning things you have grihastha ashram where you are applying these things for specific getting resources and utilizing them then after that what then is vana prastha ashram when you start connecting to the ayer going beyond the limits of i me myself and then is the fourth which is sanyas ashram and if you look at it what are the four purusharthas dharma arth kama moksha brahmacharya dharma you have to learn you have to understand grihastha ashram arth vanaprastha ashram kama and moksha in sanyas ashram now for vanaprastha ashram kama means not individual kamana because that is what we are doing in grihastha ashram here expanding the kamana to global good sarve api sukhina santu sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchid dukh bhartave so that we can get ready for moksha moksha is freedom from bondages now it can be a small bondage medium bondage large bondage or the ultimate bondage we don't know maybe some of you are on the verge of that ultimate bondage we don't know but we can take that step towards life is meant to be lived fully with a goal with a direction with a purpose what is the goal and direction in senior citizenship that is something we have to understand and then once we understand this then we have to apply the principles and practices of yoga to achieve that there are limitations physical limitations mental limitations emotional limitations social limitations first we have to use yogic practices for that second we have to use these practices so that we can reach out you see our mind has become blinkered i can only when my son is unwell then i feel agitated but when the son of my neighbor is unwell i say oh jane do ha ah, dekho that person he or she was bad to me that is why the karma phal is coming oh, we don't yeah. say that when it is for my child that i must have done something wrong therefore my son has got bad and I'm, and so i am calm and quiet no so we have to expand our mind and expand our families 
and expand our reach. Doing so, we connect with that subtle energy, which is also known as the Kundalini Shakti. And that is the basis of the entire bodily activities. When we start activating this energy, then higher centers get activated. And it is said that when we activate this energy, then the yogis can also defeat death. If we can't defeat death, we can reverse aging. If we cannot reverse aging because we have not gone to that level, we can actually stop aging or let it progress in a harmonious manner, in a enriching manner. That is the level we are at. Reversing death, they, they, they are very, very rare people. But for us, how can we use this energy to energize our life? How can we enrich our life? And how can we bring that happiness and contentment back in our life? There are problems. How can we put them into their proper perspective and manage them? Because remember, when we have this energy, all the problems start going away. There is the body, the mind has got amazing healing potential. That is what we need to connect into. And to do this, there are practices. Now, we might feel that these practices might be very, very complicated, but that is not so. There are very simple practices if we can look at it that way. And we will eventually be connecting to these practices. Of course, we have to prepare ourselves for that. Once we prepare ourselves, only then we can connect to these practices. Otherwise, uh, we will not be able to connect. So, first we start with some basic practices so that we can have some good immediate benefits in our body. And simultaneously, we start preparing ourselves. And eventually, in a month or a two months, we start these practices. And along with this, different other activities which can bring joy, happiness, energy, zest, zeal in our life. That is the aim of the Vanaprastha Ashram. And it is up to the participants of this Satra how motivated, how interested they are. The more they are interested, the more we will be able to do something. If the motivation is limited, we will be able to do something limited. So it basically it is up to you, all of you who are participating amongst you. So this is in short, the significance of Vanaprastha series, becoming an elder, <laughs> not just growing older. 